Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I never expected that this would happen, but here we are. So, this day has been a crazy day. You get the Disney TVI pilots being leaked. Um, I've heard that the SpongeBob pilot has been um, shown as well. And now, there's something that really shocked me. When I heard that, when I saw that post saying about it, I was shocked. I was shaking at this point that this was a big surprise. So, Charter Spectrum, known to be a service that I don't really have that much, much to say about it, other than the fact that, well, they decided to drop those Disney channels after the dispute, but kept those like Disney Channel, FX, and, uh, of course, ABC, but not Freeform, despite that used to be ABC Family. Now, there's something else about it. There is a service called Kids Unlimited that features those from Cartoon Channel and Wild Brain. Which is a service I never expected to see, given how um, Wild Brain did file an infringement to Cartoon Studios after what they did about Inspector Gadget and AI. For those interested, I did a video on that, and the link is in is down in the description below. But it's actually supposedly a service that contains those content. So much content. Including animated ones like... Shows like, ugh, Looped. Oh gosh, I hated that show. Oh yeah, and Chuck's Choice, which is actually a pretty good show. But here is something that I never expected to see on the service. A legal one at that point. They got Kuka Harajuku. They have it. They have the show. Not only that, they have season three. Now, from what I've heard, they don't have the first two episodes, but... They have the rest of season three. And you know what the more shocking thing about that is? Yeah! The lost episodes. The lost episodes. Because the official YouTube channel of Cuckoo Harajuku, it stopped at Totally Teen Genie's last clue since we tropolis. I swear to goodness, if they have those episodes there, then this might lead to a nerd discovery. I still can't believe it, that they would have the Lost Media episodes just like that. At Charter Spectrum's Kids Unlimited, if there is proof of that, I would love, I would love to see that actually happening. But holy moly, I think this might lead to it also be on AFM Family as well. So there is a possibility that those Lost Media episodes might actually air on the most random channel ever made for military, those who serve in the military, and their families. Also, Kids Unlimited does feel kind of basic. I mean, why, why couldn't they just rename it to something else like, um... Tune Limited. Oh, look at that. I kind of made a new service that would be fitting for an animation focus. But I checked. I checked on Google and no results of Kids Unlimited. I even checked on the Spectrum website and its channels lists. And all I found in the closest range is Kabillion and Kabillion Girls Rule. Not Kids Unlimited. You know, with all these lost media clips and pilots and 
in scenes like that being found, it would be crazy to see the Australian bumpers being found, the Nickelodeon bumpers being found from 2017, even to 2016 ones. They were on YouTube and then they got removed. Heck. Maybe even the pilot can be found after all these years, ever since the Asian Animation Summit back in 2013. But you never know when that happens. Oh man, it has been years. I remember watching some clips when I had a VPN and, and it is just, just some clips and due to the internet itself that I had to deal with. It was short, but yeah, after that they were removed and then there is this special announcement years later, which is today. That I never expected that if this is actually true, then the episode's might as well be found. It would be also interesting if they also have season one and season two as well, but man, season three, that is where the lost media episodes are. I would be amazed to see proof of this, if this is actually legit, but if it is, those Spectrum customers... Might as well be really lucky, even though they lost Disney Jr. and FXX and Freeform. I'm just shocked, and I still am to this day. Though, um, well, of course I have been calming down, as it is a good thing to calm down there. But man, that right here is very... Very shocking as a discovery. This day really has been a big one for Lost Media being found like this. And seeing Kuka Harajuku likely being shown on Spectrum for full episodes on the Lost Media ones like that. Is a possibility that this might as well be a case to be closed. Anyway guys, what are your thoughts on this? Are you quite surprised that this actually might lead to the episodes being found? Or not? Well, it, 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 proof is needed there. Because there needs to be proof to make sure if they're actually found after so many years of being lost. After all those years. Anyway guys, this is Kawaii Life Antonio. Sign off. Peace.